What do those two colored lights on the front of your Fronius Gen 24 inverter actually mean? In this video, I'll give you a simple rundown of those two lights and I'll tell you what color they should be. And I'll show you where the hidden button is on the Fronius Gen 24 inverter. I'm Mark from MC Electrical in Brisbane, and this is part of my Know Your Solar series designed to help answer the most common questions that we get from our customers after their solar is installed. But before I explain what the lights mean and what the button does, let's cut to the chase. If it's daytime, your lights should be green and blue. Okay, let's start with that left light. You'll recognize this little symbol. It's called the power symbol. It tells you if the inverter is producing power or not. So green means go. If it's flashing green, it means it's just starting up, probably in the morning, and that normally takes two minutes or so. If it's solid green, then it's connected to your panels and generating power, or it is connected to your battery at nighttime if you have one. So this probably means that everything is okay, but just because green means go, it doesn't mean that all your panels are running well. And at the end of this video, I explain that more in depth. So yellow means caution. If it is solid yellow, it means that there is no power from your panels or from your battery if it's nighttime. And if you get a yellow light at nighttime and you don't have a battery, then surprise, surprise, there is nothing wrong with your solar. Solar panels don't work on moonlight. But if this light is yellow when the sun is up and when the grid power is on, then you have a problem. Check all the switches on your inverter are up or on by following this video. And if you still have no luck, then contact your installer. Now, if it is flashing yellow during the day, then the inverter is just recognizing that the inverter is working outside of normal operating conditions or it's what Fronius call a non-critical error. It doesn't necessarily mean your inverter or your panels are faulty. This type of issue it's picking up is that, that maybe the grid voltage is temporarily too high or it's too low. So just keep an eye on your inverter. If it's flashing every day and we installed your system, just drop us an email and we'll get back to you. If the power light is solid red on the other hand, you may have a critical error. So just turn your solar system off and then on again by following this video. And if there is still an issue, then call your installer. Okay, let's look at the right hand light. If it's solid blue, it's connected to the internet. If it's solid red, it means it has lost connection to the internet. If it is solid yellow, it means that the network connection has never been connected to the internet. Now, before I explain the button on the Gen 24, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So if you want to connect your inverter to the internet or reconnect it to the internet, you'll need to use the optical button. So this part between the two lights is an optical sensor or an optical button. When you tap this optical button twice, it will flash green. So tap it just two times relatively slowly. And this means it is trying to connect to your home Wi-Fi via WPS. You'll want to watch this video for instructions on how to do that. If you tap the button just once, it will flash blue, meaning it is ready to connect to your phone so that your phone can be used as your inverter screen. That's pretty handy and you can do all sorts of things when your phone is connected to your inverter. I explain more in this video. And if you want a deeper look at how your solar is working, if it is working as well as it should be, then check out this video and I give instructions on that. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.